Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of decimals and whole numbers including money. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of decimals and whole numbers including money. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Let us study the problem below. Piolo and his friend ordered two chicken sandwiches, three cheeseburgers, and one ham and egg sandwich. How much did they pay? Cheeseburger is 25 pesos. Chicken sandwich is 75 pesos and 25 centavos. Ham and egg sandwich is 55 pesos and 75 centavos. They ordered 3 cheeseburger. Multiply 25 pesos to 3 cheeseburgers. 25 times 3 equals 75 pesos. For the chicken sandwich, they ordered 2. So multiply 75 pesos and 25 centavos times 2 equals 150 pesos and 50 centavos. And now, let us add. 150 pesos and 50 centavos for the chicken sandwich plus 75 pesos for the cheeseburger plus 55 pesos and 75 centavos for ham and egg sandwich equals, let's add. 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals 5. 5 plus 0 plus 7 equals 12. Carry up 1. Don't forget to write the decimal point. 5 plus 5 plus 1 equals 11. Carry up 1. 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 1 equals 18. Carry up 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So they pay 281 pesos and 25 centavos. Study the given problem. Look for the solution and answer the question that follows. Mang Isko has 28 pesos and 56 centavos. If he has to divide it into his six children, how much will each one receive? Step 1 is to understand. Know what is asked. The amount of money each child will receive. Know the given facts. The given facts are 28 pesos and 56 centavos and six children. Next step is to plan. Determine the operation to be used. So the operation to be used is division. Write the number sentence. 28 pesos and 56 centavos divided by 6 equals N. Next step is to solve. Show our solution. Let us use the vertical form of division. 28 pesos and 56 centavos divided by 6. First, let us divide 28 by 6. 28 divided by 6 equals 4. 4 times 6 equals 24. 28 minus 24 equals 4. Bring down 5. 45 divided by 6 equals 7. 7 times 6 equals 42. 45 minus 42 equals 3. Bring down 6. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. 6 times 6 equals 36. 36 minus 36 equals 0. Write the decimal point. Next step is to check and look back. Review and recheck your answer. 
you may use calculator to divide. 28 pesos and 56 centavos by 6 or multiply 4 pesos and 76 centavos by 6. So therefore, each child receives 4 pesos and 76 centavos. And now let us do learning task 1. Solve the given problems. Larry drinks an average of 6 and 48 hundreds glasses of water per day. About how many glasses of water will he drink in? Number 1, in a week. 6 and 48 hundreds multiply by 7. 7 days in a week equals first round off 6 and 48 hundreds to 6. Multiply by 7. 6 times 7 equals 42. So therefore, in a week, he drinks 42 glasses of water. Number 2. In a month, 6 and 48 hundreds multiply by 30. 30 days equals round up 6 and 48 hundreds to 6 times 30 equals 6 times 30 equals 180. So therefore, in a month, he drinks 180 glasses of water. Number 3. In a year, 6 and 48 hundreds multiply by 365 days in a year equals round up 6 and 48 hundreds to 6 multiply by 365 equals 6 times 365 equals 2,190. Therefore, in a year, he drinks 2,190 glasses of water. And number 4, a decade. 6 and 48 hundreds times 3,650 equals round up 6 and 48 hundreds to 6. Multiply by 3,650. 6 times 3,650 equals 21,900. Therefore, in a decade, he drinks 21,900 glasses of water. Learning Task 2 Complete the table below. In the first column, we have Medicine. Medicine A, Medicine B, and Medicine C. In the second column, we have one person. In the third column, we have 5 persons. And in the fourth column, we have 14 persons. Let us complete first the table of medicine A. For one person, medicine A is 7 pesos. How about to 5 persons? To get the price of medicine A to 5 persons, multiply 7 pesos times 5. So 7 times 5 equals 35 pesos. And for 14 person, multiply 7 pesos times 14 person. So 7 pesos times 14 equals 98 pesos. Now, medicine B. Medicine B for 5 person is 60 pesos and 60 centavos. So to know how much is medicine B for 1 person, divide 60 pesos and 60 centavos to 5 person. 60 pesos and 60 centavos divided by 5 equals 12 pesos and 12 centavos. That is the price of medicine B for one person. And next, for 14 person, let us multiply 12 pesos and 12 centavos to 14 person. 12 pesos and 12 centavos times 14 equals 169 pesos and 68 centavos. Next, Medicine C. For 14 person, the price is 213 pesos and 50 centavos. To get how much is Medicine C for 1 person, divide 213 pesos and 50 centavos by 14. So, 213 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 14 equals 15 pesos and 25 centavos. And, to get the price of Medicine C for 5 person, Multiply 15 pesos and 25 centavos to 5 person. 15 pesos and 25 centavos times 5 equals 76 pesos and 25 centavos. 
Learning Task 3 Solve the following problems. Write your solutions and your answers. Number 1. School lunches cost 135 pesos and 50 centavos per week. About how much would 15 and 5 tenths weeks of lunches cost? So 135 pesos and 50 centavos multiplied to 15 and 5 tenths equals 0 times 5 equals 0. 5 times 5 equals 25. Carry up 2. 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 2 equals 27. Carry up 2. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 2 equals 17. Carry up 1. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 1 equals 6. Next, 0 times 5 equals 0. 5 times 5 equals 25. Carry up 2. 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 2 equals 27. Carry up 2. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 2 equals 17. Carry up 1. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 1 equals 6. Next, 0 times 1 equals 0. 5 times 1 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. 3 times 1 equals 3. And 1 times 1 equals 1. Then add. Bring down 0. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. Carry up 1. 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 1 equals 20. Carry up 2. 6 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 equals 20. Carry up 2. 6 plus 3 plus 2 equals 11. Carry up 1. And 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then write the decimal point. So the lunches cost... 2,100 pesos and 250 centavos. Number 2. Lorna earns 71 pesos and 75 centavos per hour for gardening. If she will work 21 hours this month, then how much will she earn? 71 pesos and 75 centavos multiplied to 21 hours equals 5 times 1 equals 5. 7 times 1 equals 7, 1 times 1 equals 1, and 7 times 1 equals 7. Next, 5 times 2 equals 10, carry up 1. 7 times 2 equals 14, plus 1 equals 15, carry up 1. 2 times 1 equals 2, plus 1 equals 3. And 7 times 2 equals 14. Plus, bring down 5. 7 plus 0 equals 7. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Carry up 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5 and bring down 1. Then write a decimal point. So for 21 hours, she will earn 1,506 pesos and 75 centavos. Number 3. False father will pay for his new car in 60 month payments. If his car loan costs 1,023,660, then how much will he pay for each month? Divide 1,023,660 by 60. So 102 divided by 60 equals 1. 1 times 60 equals 60. 102 minus 60 equals 42. Bring down 3. 423 divided by 60 equals 7. 7 times 60 equals 420. 423 minus 420 equals 3. Bring down 6. 36 divided by 60 cannot be. The answer is 0. 0 times 60 equals 0. 36 minus 0 equals 36. Bring down 6. 366 divided by 60 equals 6. 6 times 60 equals 360. 366 minus 360 equals 6. Bring down 0. 60 divided by 60 equals 1. 1 times 60 equals 60. 60 minus 60 equals 0. For each month, he will pay 17,061 pesos. Number 4. The length of a ribbon is 1 and 28 hundreds meter. The length of a rope is 2 and 74 hundreds meter longer than the ribbon. What is the length of the rope? So let us add 
1 and 28 hundreds plus 2 and 74 hundreds meters equals 8 plus 4 equals 12, carry up 1. 2 plus 7 plus 1 equals 10, carry up 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4, write the decimal point. Therefore, the length of the rope is 4 and 2 hundreds meters. And number 5, a pail holds 5 and 2 tenths liters of water. A bottle holds 3 and 9 tenths liters less water than the pail. What is the volume of water in the bottle? Subtract 5 and 2 tenths minus 3 and 9 tenths equals 2 minus 9 cannot be bar 1 from 5. 2 becomes 12 and 5 becomes 4. 12 minus 9 equals 3. Then 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then write the decimal point. So the volume of water in the bottle is 1 and 3 tenths liters. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!